And what do you recall from 2014? You were in New York City. Was family there with yeah. you? Were you? So you're at one of those tables that, uh, you know, yeah. is kind of behind the stage mm-hmm. kind of thing. Um, what, what What's your recollection from that? Did you go about where you thought? or? Yeah, uh, I didn't actually think I was going to the Steelers at all. But uh, it was kind of funny because at the draft, one of my friends actually, like, called me, like, once the draft started. Like, called me. My phone was flipped. And then, like, I'm, I'm like, what the heck? So I looked. And I'm like. I'm not going first overall, I wish, but I looked and my friend was like, hey, man, just congrats. I just want to congratulate you, I mean, give, uh, <laughs> congratulate you and just want you to know, like, we hoping you go somewhere good. I was like, man, bro, thank you, but you just kind of killed my anticipation. Stop, but, yeah, stop calling me. That, <laughs> right. That's bad form. Your yeah. friend shouldn't call you before you get drafted, right. true? So if anybody true. out there has a friend who might get drafted, you don't call them when they haven't been drafted yet. Yeah, don't, don't call them before the draft. That's right, because then they think, oh, is this, is this the team? Is it, yeah. oh, you know, who is especially, it? Especially if they're not looking at their phone and it just starts buzzing around the time that they think they might go. So uh, the thing that's funny to me is that I actually, uh, I knew, like, Khalil and Clowney were going pretty early. So. Clowney goes one to the Texans. Rams take Greg Robinson, too. That yeah. hasn't worked out so well. Blake Bortles to the Jags, three. We'll see Bills, TBD because of injuries. Raiders, there's Mac. So, uh, so th- Yeah, I knew they was going pretty early. So I actually took my shoes off because my draft shoes, for some reason, were hurting. <laughs> so I took my shoes off, and uh, I was like – I'm going to I- cut this. The Steelers fans won't like this lack of toughness. My shoes hurt me. Hey. This is, you're the linchpin to the Steelers' hey. fortunes? Hey, my no, shoes man. hurt. Hey, <laughs> if my shoes hurt in a football game, I'm playing through it. But if, ah, okay. if I'm just okay. sitting around, I don't, I don't need my shoes hurting. Fair. Fair. So All I right. took my shoes off. I was like, I don't think I'm going to around the 15th pick of the draft. So I had uh, – I didn't think I was going to the Steelers, though. So I just, like, just chose a number. I'm like, this is pretty much halfway. So I was like, I'm, I'm probably going to go around the 15th pick. So uh, I'm, I'm, like, around, like, 14. I'm starting to, like, put my shoes back on. And my agent comes by. I was like, hey, man, I just got off the phone with Dallas. They're going to pick you with the next pick. They have the 16th pick. Mm. So is 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 uh, – is uh so you go so Chicago uh, is right Chicago then Steelers then Dallas so he's like Dallas is about to pick you right now and when when is their turn and then I went to the the Steelers and uh I talked to the the linebacker coach and uh he told me hey we don't need any more linebackers so you're not coming in. what yeah, I don't. It makes no sense to me. What do I, I wait a second? I don't understand this story. First of all, within the span of a couple of minutes, you think you're about to go to America's team. Does your heart soar? This is going to be great to go to Texas, play with the star in my hat. No, it was actually pretty cool because uh, I'm actually I kind of grew up a Steelers fan. So mm-hmm. my dad is a uh, big on defense, and we we just love defense in, in football. So and my dad was like a defensive coordinator growing up in uh he, at a high school in Florida. So we we like the Steelers. So when I told my dad, I was like, "Hey, I'm about to go to the Cowboys." He texted my, hit my uncle. My uncle's the biggest Cowboy fan I ever known, and he was like, "Yeah, that's what I'm talking about." And then, <laughs> and then, uh, then my dad was about to text somebody else, and then my phone ring. Like uh, and then I seen a four one two number. Mm-hmm. This time I kept it up. So I seen a four one two number, and I was like. I know that's not a Dallas area code. I know that's a Pittsburgh area code because I have friends mm. that went to Ohio State that's from Pittsburgh. So I called and uh, it was Mr. Rooney and and those guys and it's like, hey, I, uh, that's who makes the call. It's yeah. Mr. Rooney is the one who. It, it, it was uh, Art Rooney, Mr. Art. Rooney. Oh, okay, it right. Was Mr. Rooney, he was like, hey, uh, Ryan, uh, would you like to be a Pittsburgh Steeler? And him, Coach Tomlin, and I talked to Dick LeBeau and and. Uh, it was crazy because, uh, like, I really was like, hey, I'm going to Dallas. That's pretty cool. You know, every like, I'm going to America's team, this and that. And mm-hmm. then I'm going to Steelers. I was like, hey, you can't lose either way. I, I, I'm I'm, I'm just so happy that I am going to the Steelers, and this is such an amazing organization. Well, what's fascinating about it is then uh, at number eight, your teammate briefly in 2016, Justin Gilbert, goes to it goes there. Then Anthony Barr, who's had a nice uh, early run here. And uh, Odell Beckham goes at number 12. So yeah. far, I would say he's the – well, Aaron Donald. Yeah. He's probably the bat. Well, that pretty – Pretty uh, juicy stuff going. In. Like I, when I've gone through this with some other guys, it's it's it makes you laugh because yeah. wow, a lot of teams could have had you, Malcolm yeah. Jenkins, but instead they took these guys who are no longer in the league. Yeah. These guys are some Hall of Famers in front of you. Yeah, man, and um, and I'm I'm gonna be one also. So uh, yeah, yeah, I like it. I'm you know what was interesting? Here's the here is what helps 
to feed rivalry so that they go on and on beyond just a, a few years. The other team that really liked you was the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. And the Ravens had the 17th pick. And as your pick was – as the Steelers pick was coming around, it was clear based on need – Pittsburgh's either going to go Shazier or Mosley here. Yeah. And in that, whatever it was, 20 minutes or so, the debate of which guy do you want? A more traditional kind of real hard nose kind of linebacker? Or do you want this uh, this special uh, athlete in Ryan Shazier? How different would things have been if that would have been flipped for you? Do you, do you think things uh, the, the way they play ball in Baltimore kind of plays out the same way? Uh, both of us have great defenses historically, so uh, – Honestly, uh, I don't know how that would play out because I don't even think about ever even want to be in a Raven right now.